Hey YouTubers and YouTubettes, welcome one and all. Today we have a phenomenal video for you, and by that I mean now's the time to turn off your volume if you hate the sound of my voice or my stupid commentary. Weightlifting or powerlifting is a sport that pits a person against themselves. These Herculean men and women are always trying to lift more weight than humanly possible, and they're willing to push their bodies to the breaking point. For those of you who aspire to be like these mighty giants, I'd like to first offer you a bit of free advice. Oxygen does the body good, so my first piece of advice for all you aspiring backyard weightlifters is to breathe. Breathe unless, of course, you like instantaneous power naps while holding heavy things, or if you want to practice having seizures like this guy. Here's a little tip for powerlifting. Empty your bowels before the competition, not during it. You know you're lifting too much weight when your anus quivers like a frightened squirrel and spontaneously auditions for a two girls one cup sequel. And if you do shit on stage while lifting weights, don't rub your feet in it. That only makes things worse because now your shoes smell and look like you stole them from a hobo living in a dog park. This should probably go without saying, but never, ever, never, ever, ever, never lift heavy weights alone unless, of course, Dying by yourself is the last thing on your bucket list. Ah, oh, let's see. I, I visited my aunt and uncle in Bel Air. Oh, I swam with the dolphins. I, I uh, rode a unicorn. And, and now I just want to die alone. Ever wonder what being crushed by stupidity sounds like? Here, have a listen. Always use a spotter when weightlifting. No sense having someone around to witness your greatness if you don't get them to stop all that weight from crushing your overconfident body or giving yourself a 400 pound headache. Having a spotter when weightlifting is important, but there's not much sense if the spotters aren't able to actually help. Make sure they aren't a couple of spooked little bunny rabbits with the reflexes of a walnut. Get a couple of guys who won't let you get squished like a ball of Play-Doh at the funny farm. Look at this poor guy. I bet he shit out his liver and pancreas later that night. This girl's eyes are a lot bigger than her arms, and uh, I kind of face the same problem at holidays. I load up my plate with food, and I can't finish what I started. Uh, what I'm getting at is, know your limit, stay within it. A clear indication that you might not be healthy enough for powerlifting is walking up to the bar like Frankenstein. Make sure your body works before attempting to lift weights. I mean, don't get me wrong, bravo to this guy for trying, but he's wrapped up like a burn victim and is anyone really surprised this combination of heavy weights and a broken old man didn't end in a giant victory? Eat light before powerlifting. Lifting heavy weights sure can do a number on your body. We already saw someone shit themselves, but don't forget the body has another awesome exit, the mouth. Having a belly full of food and a super tight support belt is a recipe for vomit. And if you're thinking about watching some power lifting, make sure you keep this video in mind and avoid the first few rows, unless of course you want a free hot breakfast. Boulders belong on mountains and not in the hands of power lifters. Yeah, I said it and this guy's leg agrees with me. Eat calcium-rich food. Milk does the body good, and unless you want to hear a snap, crackle, pop outside of the breakfast nook, then I suggest you do everything possible to make strong bones. Have an extra glass of milk if you're going to become a power lifter, because breaking an arm while weightlifting sounds a lot like this. <laughs> Thanks for dropping by and checking out our video. Feel free to rant and rave in the comment section below. We'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all your 10 favorite things.